Adam, Elizabeth, and Miss Zoe down here. We're happy hauling and we have a Christmas Dollar Tree haul for you guys. But before we get into it, if you are not currently subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know every time we post a video. And don't forget to hit that like button. Oh, Miss Zoe's already crawling over to Mr. Oh. Holland. Okay, so let's get into this haul. So Dollar Tree continues to get some amazing Christmas items. So before I get into the new stuff, I will show these off again. Oh, oh, oh it still has a thing in it. So I got some more of these little light up tree topper stars mm. so that our kids don't get very sad if they use all of the batteries in it. So you I, got a couple, holy moly. I know, I picked up four more, so that... That ought to last us uh, about a week. Well, one would hope, at least. And I, so that was the only repurchase item that I got. I did find these green extension cords and they are six foot. So I bought two of them. One dollar. So they got plug on this side and two plugs on the other side. That's cool. And it has like a little um, thing to close it off. Yeah. So that's cool. I guess that's maybe a child safe thing. Yeah. That makes sense. It's a good idea. I never thought about it. And I did find Mr. Holland some gold toe Christmas, Christmas socks. socks. So here's this, but I'll show you the cute little like cars with the tree. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're so cute. So got Should those. Should I wear them now? No. All right, see you later, Zoe. And they were originally $8. So getting them for a dollar is a pretty amazing deal. And then I found some more ornaments. I got this set of four. So this one, Holly and Jolly, Happy Holidays, Naughty or Nice, and Merry Christmas. So I thought those, those were pretty cute. And Well, they're I, like balsa wood. Yeah. And then I did find these, so they are calling them ornaments as well. So this one's adorable. It says, hello winter. And they have these pretty red ribbons to hang them with. And this cute little penguin with a little scarf on. So there's that one. And then this one is Mr. Santa Claus. It says, peace, love, and joy. And then this one is absolutely adorable. This one is a snowman and it says holiday and cheer. So I liked all three of those and I believe that those are the three to the set. I didn't see any others. Just be careful with the glitter. It will rub off. Yeah. And then more ornaments. So these ones are like the crafty ones. So color your own and they are a set of three. Hmm. So this one is a snowman. We refer to him as Frosty. And it comes with three little markers <clears throat> in there. And then I got Mr. Santa Claus. And then some of you guys are gonna go crazy for this next one. They have gnomes. How stinking adorable. And then they also, this is something I haven't seen at Dollar Tree before. Um, these are felt finger puppet kits and you get to make five different puppets. You get In them, one bag, okay. In one kit, yeah. So you get to make a penguin, a hedgehog, a raccoon, a cardinal, and a fox. There you go. And in the back, you see that the uh, little finger puppet area is actually sewn already. So that should make it an easy project. And then this is a different one. Um, this is like a nativity one. So you get the angel, you get Mary holding baby Jesus, Joseph, a wise, is it two wise men? 
Yeah. I think it is. Or is it the shepherd and a wise man? I can't tell. No, I think there's wise men. Okay, so show. So I thought Focus those. Focus on it. I thought those were really cute, and those will be a fun little project for the kids to do. There you go. Little finger pop is pretty sewn in the back. Yeah, so that'll be a fun, fun project. And then I got these for each of the kids. Oh no. Yeah. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> oh. They're little gnome mugs. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Love it. And they are not dishwasher safe, not microwave safe, hand wash only. Let's see. They're pretty small, so I would say they probably only hold like eight, maybe 10 ounces. So I just thought those were so cute. And I did snap a picture while I was in Dollar Tree because they do have um, a few others to choose from. I believe they had Santa, they had a snowman, and I don't remember what the fourth one was, but I took a picture, so Mr. Holland will insert it right now. Did I do it? I hope so. So I thought that the kids would think this was adorable. It'll be their hot chocolate mug for the season. And these last items, I'm very excited to share with y'all. I got a miniature Christmas village. How is this a dollar? And there, so there's, that one is just like a house, I believe. I don't think it's like a yeah, business Yeah, it looks like a anything. Victorian house. And then this one has the, this one's the toy store. And then I also got the cobblestone candy store. The, uh, while she's looking at that, it does say on the bottom here, they're meant for you to use the battery powered tea lights in them. Do not use other lights, I'm assuming that produce heat, or real candles. Don't use real candles well, either. Well, no, I don't think it's the battery powered tea lights. Does it? it literally says only intended for battery operated oh. LED tea lights. Oh, okay. Um, and then this is the church. So this is the final one that I found. If there are any more, I will try to acquire them, but these were all the ones that I found at the Dollar Tree I was at, and it looked like they were pretty freshly stocked. The stickers don't want to come off that so well. So this but is what the bottom looks like. It's like perfectly shaped for their little tea lights, so. So that's good, because we have quite a plethora of those. <laughs> but I always love these types and of things as a kid. these ones are plastic, because I know a lot of times they're glass or ceramic. Yeah. So this will be good, especially if you, you don't have- don't have to worry about it breaking. Yeah, kids around, so got- But the little holes for the windows that's like the best part. So these are going to be really fun. So I will be on the hunt for all the accessories that go with it. Um, the only one that I did find was um, this like little bush right here. And then these two little lamps. Oh, wow. It's like a brick wall with lamps on top. So I did pick that up, but that was all that they had in the one that I had there Shop better guys. be more. If there are, I will buy them. And we're gonna put tea lights in these things and turn them on every night once we're decorated. In like two weeks. Yep. And then we're <laughs> gonna be playing Christmas songs. Oh yeah. The I want a hippopotamus for Christmas song all the time. Oh my gosh. So that was our haul, but this brings me to our question. What is your favorite Christmas song? I will let Adam guess my favorite Christmas song. He, if he doesn't know it's it. It's a Mariah Carey song. Yes. All I want for Christmas is you. Yes, that is my all time favorite Christmas song. If that comes on, I will stop everything and just rock out for the next three and a half minutes. Like, what's, what's my favorite Christmas song? <laughs> it's not a Christmas song. 
Yes, it is. Okay, what is it? It's a Christmas song. The John Mayer? Yeah. St. Patrick's Day? They, the song is called St. Patrick's Day, but it is a Christmas song. He even describes it as a Christmas song. It clearly talks about Christmas at the beginning, and he's talking about having a girlfriend, and then the reason it's called St. Patrick's Day is like, you know, you go through the seasons, the holidays, until you get to St. Patrick's Day. It, tu it touches on Valentine's Day in the song too, but it was a Christmas song. Not obviously. It even sounds like a Christmas song if you listen to I it. I mean, not as much as my favorite Christmas song. It's still a great Literally song. Literally has Christmas in the title of the song, whatever. He talks about Christmas at the beginning. And it's, I love it how when, great I, sound. when we ask a question, whether it's you or myself asking your, a question. Your answer is five words, and then mine is an entire, entire discussion. Yours is entire story, and then sometimes I have to ask you again, what is your answer to the question? We, we know the answer. It's by John Mayer called St. Patrick's Day. I know, I said that. I know. Okay, so don't forget to comment with your favorite Christmas song. And thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you guys so, so, so much. And until our next video, happy Halloween. Bye, guys. Bye.